Brighton. Cuthbert, it's a bit narrow, plenty of defenders back, although Ajax struggling to clear. Will it fall for James? And Lauren James will put it in, but the flag goes up. Well, everybody was looking and everybody was waiting for that flag to go up. Yeah, I think the whistle, Caputi actually blew the whistle uh, before for the original foul. Um, but it was great play from Chelsea trying to play in that one-two touch quick combination play. Well, they're going to be looking at this closely. Alejandro Di Paolo. Uh, video technology available. Full credit to Lauren James because you play to the whistle, don't you? So anything that she did was carry on. Lauren James. Oh, she felt that. Goodness me, that was tight. That was close. Buchanan. James can't touch it. Wrighton gets there though. Right across it goes. And this one should count definitely. Shekin Nuskin on the slide. Chelsea do get their second goal. Yeah, Nuskin doing what Nuskin does, arriving into the box. And I think Chelsea would be happy that they got the goal from that scenario because I think there's a potential penalty call on, on Lauren James. But yeah, brilliant ball in from Guru Wright and low and hard across that defensive line. And who's there to finish it off? Nuskin once again. Did well on the stretch there, Lawrence now. Carrier looking to keep herself onside. Two to Aymar in the centre, and there is a Chelsea third. Liska with her arms up, wanting it, getting it, and scoring again. And Chelsea with a very handsome lead to take into the second leg now. And Shukanuskin at the double again for the Blues. Well, I was going to say, the substitutes coming in and keeping and maintaining, if not raising the levels, Shows the strength and depth of this Chelsea side, but pinpoint precision cross into the box and Nuskin there with the perfect header. And again, you've just got a question. Ajax is defending. They've got to get touch tight to players in there. Can't allow them that space and time. Letting a craft is something of a street footballer in Lisbon. Ooh, that's a bit loose. Oh, and they're in real trouble here. It's a fantastic opportunity. Faria is clean through and scores! What about this for Benfica? They lead against the all-time record winners of this competition. Andrea Faria clean through on goal. But in truth, her side only have themselves to blame. What a story we have here. It's her first ever Champions League goal. And what a time for it to come. Sensed the opportunity, didn't she? Took it away from Embark and then is clean through. But can she beat one of the world's best goalkeepers? Yes, she can. It's been such a good game to watch this so far. Will Benfica take a lead with them to France for the second leg? Carpenter's ball over. Ah, well, they've equalised. Cascarino with the big moment for Lyon. The player so recently back from injury, how they've missed her. And she was in the right place at the right time there. Her first Champions League appearance in almost a year and she marks it with a very important goal. Cascarino. Home support wanted a free kick there. Given away by Andrea Norton. Haran. De Mornay's in the box. Gebritz is there as well! Really well taken by the German international. And they've turned this all around here, Leon. From 1-0 down to 2-1 up, and you'd have to say that's a goal that's been coming. They've played so well in the last 20 minutes or so. 
and it's a player in fine form in front of goal, Zara Debritz, who gets her fifth in four games. Arm aloft for so long there, was calling for the ball over. It's a great pick out, isn't it? Fantastic cross. Kashawi to take to the far post, headed down. Oh, it might be touched in. And Paris Saint-Germain will take the lead. And Eva Gettino is the player who's celebrating. The American defender starting for the first time for Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League this evening. Well, Falk got a glove to the initial efforts. Kafaji waits behind this penalty. Referee blows the whistle. Oh, and it's saved. Oh, and then there's Kafaji who races in and makes sure it goes in at the second attempt. Kijanek got a glove to that initially. But quick thinking from Kafaji means that it is all square with less than five minutes to go before half time. Well, denied from the initial penalty kick. Kijanex glove pushed it back into her path. She dipped down to head it in. Rosa Kafaji. But now PSG try to create something themselves quickly up the other end of the pitch. Baltimore. Cross comes down, could be Chewinga. And it gives PSG a goal to put them back ahead. Denied earlier in this second half by an offside flag. But that one will count. Well, they were up the pitch in an instant. The cross that dropped in, dropped into her path. And it is Herken 1, Paris Saint-Germain 2. Barcelona play it short. Graham Hansen will receive it back. And it's in. Barcelona with that early breakthrough. And Carolina Graham Hansen's outstanding season continues. 25 goals for the season. And Brown's early resistance is broken. Much to the delight of the away fans. Yeah, we're talking about giving chances to, to players. Really positive front foot, Graham Hansen. And then she, it just opens up. And the keeper was unfortunate, Mikkelsen, in the end. I think when you're behind it here, you can see he takes a little bit of a deflection that spins it past him. And here come Brown. Fredis Pamas screaming for it on this near side. Just through with Chellens. Krummer's in there. Redis Pham, a huge chance taken! Finishes on the angle. And listen to the noise inside the Osana Arena. Cecilia Reddish Kavama has leveled it up against the reigning European champions, Barcelona. Bran won. Barcelona won. Brilliant. I think she cannot believe it herself. Finish Kavama. Brilliant. And that one I was talking about, decision making when you get in the right areas. Absolutely perfect. The ball across. She's always right at the edge of a position on from right wing back. We talk about the areas to exploit. The two will draw with Leon. Even in the 3-1 defeat, they were the first side to score against Leon in this Champions League campaign. As Barcelona looks to score again. Parriuelo on the turn and they do score. She's had a quiet second half, Sama Parriuelo. But all you need.
need sometimes is that one moment of quality. And Pariuelo provides it. Barcelona back in front, 2-1. Yeah, this is all about Bomati and her movement and her willingness to go beyond and force that pass. Watch that little turn. Now she goes forward and then she receives. And all of a sudden, defenders are facing their own goal. But then about the skill, Pariuelo lets the ball run away from her, just giving the right amount of space to just get that shot. And I think it might have got some sort of touch as well, it did.